I've never seen a waterfall so big. More of those. Good. God of Thunder! Your challenges mean nothing to the gods, Spirit. They do not listen. Do not mock my pursuit of vengeance. Unlikely. Is there something we can do? For a reward, of course. If you bring down the statue, you have my blessing to loot my father's grave. Why do you hate Thor so much? After my father passed, my mother built the statue to watch over his grave. Imagine our surprise when the God of Thunder himself came to offer condolences. Of course, we were thrilled. He quickly took advantage of our hospitality. My mother begged him to leave, and Thor, in his drunken rage, killed him. With nothing but grief. I, 
I'm so sorry. Come, boy. We have a statue to destroy. My father's grave lies on an island to the east. Do not mistake my mother's statue of gold. I cannot rest while my mother's murderer stands above my father's grave. Got it. That spirit. The one whose mom was killed by Thor? What about him? Let his story be a reminder. The lives of men mean nothing to the gods. I know, Father. You know. But do you listen? Yes. <laughs> Good. How about one more story? One more. There was a horse. The horse sought vengeance upon his enemy. The stag. Enough. 
Stories are for the boat. We must focus. Yes, sir. Vaylergar. Southern outposts of the Dwarven King. Dwarven King? Have you ever heard of a Dwarven King? No. What'll it be? What can I get you, you little fart? Got something else in mind? Let's get you squared away, then. Deal there. Always a pleasure. Now fuck right along. Good either. What happened to these people? Follow the clues. Okay. Well, scorch marks. They're all grouped together. So maybe they were hiding from some kind of fire breather. But they died anyway. Sounds like he wasn't a very good king. I wonder why they hated him so much. They are dead now. Does it matter? No. I'm just curious. Curiosity is dangerous, boy. Stay focused.
begin to build statues this big. Dwarves are resourceful creatures. Annoying, but resourceful. I guess they must have been pretty important dwarves. Do you hear that? There's a Thor statue on that island. That must be where the spirit's father is buried. Atreus, to me! Okay, I'm coming. So what story were you going to tell? There was a horse. The horse sought vengeance upon his enemy, a stag. The horse met a man, a hunter, and made a deal. He took the man's bit and bridle and allowed him to ride the sack on his back. But set that aside. We must proceed on foot. Perhaps.
We are done here. doing this himself. Topple over. Do not fall this easily, boy. I know, I know. I was just joking. Nor are they a joking matter. Sorry. Father, why did the gods cause so much trouble for us? Because that is their nature. But with all that power, you would think at least some of them would try to make life better for people. And yet, the gods continue to spread misery. This is life, boy. So, what happened when the horseman had deal with the hunter? He took the man's bit and bridle, and allowed him to ride in the saddle on his back. Together, they killed the stag, and the horse tasted victory. But the hunter would not release the horse, and made a slave of him. So getting revenge cost him his freedom. Hope it was worth it. It was not. Have you destroyed the stat- The statue stands no longer, spirit. Then my bond of this realm is severed. And I am off to find the real god of- Off he goes. Brave guy. Going to look for Thor on his own. He is a fool. What did the spirit leave us? An offering to one of the gods. Can we use it? No. But perhaps the dwarves can.
I still can't read these. That's over. Hey, it's a fragment of a language cipher. We should look for more like this. those things they smell awful your mother called them scorn poles poison magic she was the one who showed me how to disable them <laughs> what it's just funny to think of her teaching you something yes Sure is foggy here. Another dwarf. Should we... No. He is of no consequence. Uh, excuse me, but, um, how did you come by that, uh, axe? That is my concern alone. And, uh, while I won't dispute that, I, I know that blade. It was one of ours, but, uh, <laughs> we didn't make it for you. Step aside. I can't. See, the woman we made it for, I was, uh, well, I am quite fond of her, and I would be somewhat displeased if it turns out that you did something to her. It was my mother's. She left its father before she died. Face dead? I'm very, very sorry to hear that. She was a fierce warrior. And a good woman. Okay. I will make improvements to the axe. But nobody asked you to. Well, it's, it's true, but... But knowing your mother... <laughs> She would have insisted I repair that act of vandalism perpetrated against her axe by my brother. I knew it. You are Brock's brother. The other half of the brand's here. The blue one is your brother. Yes. Though my talents are vastly superior. <laughs> no boast. I swear to Freya. <gasps> Do not undo his work. Improve upon it only. Yeah, but can you can you put it down over there? That handle is no. Filthy. Okay then. I'll just 
I will just... Oh. 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 Oh, is that dried blood? Oh. So, what were you working on? Oh, that. I call it the Sky Mover. Just up that mountain waits a treasure trove of rare resources. Once I mine it, I'll need a way to bring it all down. And you know how to fix it? Not even a little. Oh, I could use a distraction. Even carrying those. Who knew? suppose you could try keeping that but no no just a, it was a question I'm fine I'm fine I'm fine master Atreus how may I serve come back anytime Atreus, follow me. Sorry, I got distracted. Ready yourself, boy! Yeah. Uh, uh, I uh, just cleaned uh, that! Ready anyway. 
Please be careful. I'm still fixing that. Stupid head chief. Tell me what's wrong with you. We found something interesting. Oh, really? I love something interesting. Dwarves are as weird as Brock and Sindri. Wonder why they don't get along. I mean, they're family. That is their matter alone, boy. Okay. Honestly? I don't have much else going on right now. Ah, offerings to Tyr. These are quite rare, you know. Why? Well, you know Odin. Not the biggest fan of Tyr. I thought he destroyed all of these. So what brings you around, friends? Well, when you do need something, I'll be around.
can't tell. Are we getting closer to the mountain? We are.
We'll need something to get through this one. Do you think for this last leg up the mountain that maybe I can carry her? I told you no. Why? She meant more to me than you anyway. What? I, I just meant I spent more time with her. You were off hunting a lot. It would serve you to stop talking.
I can see why Mom wanted us to bring her here. Indeed. Is that smoke? Stay back, boy. Ugh. What is that? We must find another way up. The witch! Wish she was here. Bet she could get us past this. My magic is useless against the Black Breath, and there's no way around it. Odin saw to that long ago. What are you doing here? Making sure you can finish your journey. Why wait to warn us? I was busy, saving my friend, if you remember. The Black Breath is a corruption of magic even I can't dispel. Only the pure light of Alfheim is strong enough to break through. But that road is long. What does this goal mean to you? It's everything. Follow me. Why help us? Maybe I see more of myself in you than I'm willing to admit. Maybe. Maybe by helping you, I'll make up for a lifetime of mistakes. Or maybe I just like you. Even though we shot your friend? Even though you shot my friend, yes. Where must we go? To a realm beyond your own. to another realm? Are you coming with us? Only for a little while. Can't. Sindri said it was broken. Sindri? The dwarf at the foot of these hills. He was fixing it when we got here. Well, no one was there when I passed by. Perhaps he finished. Dwarves are awfully resourceful. And irritating, based on the two we have met. <laughs> that too. <laughs> Just give that a turn. There. See? Tyr's temple is at the center of the lake. It is from there we travel to Alfheim. Thankfully, it's no longer underwater. 
Why is that creature in the bay? No one knows. He just appeared one day. Soon after, Thor attacked, and their battle could be felt across all the realms. Ultimately, it ended in a stalemate, and Thor returned to Odin empty-handed. The serpent stayed and grew so large, he now spans all of Midgard. See? Told you. They've hated each other ever since. Destined to kill each other come Ragnarok. You believe in Ragnarok? I dearly wish I didn't, child. You know, we actually talked to the World Serpent. You did? An exaggeration. I'm good with languages, even ones I've never heard before. But when he talks, I can't understand any of it. Sadly, no one can. He speaks a dead tongue. Oh. Must be lonely. Watch your step. Just along here. Are you sure? We came through here before and there's no way back to go. See? Is that so? Let me show you something. Are you watching? Riosa! What? It's solid! Elven architecture. My bowstring was soaked in the light of Alfheim. It can now reawaken the magic of the elves. Wait, it won't just disappear, will it? Not as long as the light shines free. This way. I want one. Those roots. What kind of magic is that? It's Vanir. From Vanaheim? You know of it? Just stories. Mother didn't say much about the Vanir gods. Just that they're always at war with the Aesir. As compared to Odin and Thor, they're the good guys. There are no good gods, boy. Thought I taught you that. Temple. Built with help from the giants, Great Tyr used it to travel the Nine Realms and keep the peace between them. Doesn't seem very peaceful. Everywhere we go, we're attacked. Especially by dead things. The risen dead grow ever more numerous. Once the roads and trails would have been full of people. Now all have hid or fled, save for the Reavers, savage enough to survive in such a world. Make a ride at the bottom of these stairs. Please. Take those stairs down and turn right. I'll be waiting up here. Another one of those light crystals. Wait there while I reawaken the light. Leosta. That did it. What are we doing exactly? Mending the disrepair. Start by lifting that axle. Good. Now push it back into place. Align the wheel onto the track. Perfect. Now push the bridge along the track. What? The whole entire bridge? 
bridge is turning. How is the whole entire bridge turning? Boy, you're really strong. Just keep pushing until the bridge reaches its first position. Tired yet? No. He's always been really strong. So about the dead. We heard someone call them Hellwalkers. But what are they? They are poor, restless souls denied their judgment and their peace. By what? Could Vanier magic raise the dead? It could, once. But this is no spell. This plague of dead is but a symptom of a world out of balance. Something or someone has meddled with powerful forces. That is all I know for sure. That's perfect. Come back up. We're ready now. That was impressive. You didn't hurt your back, did you? I did not hurt my back. Through these doors. Wait, so did the giants or the elves build tier stuff? All the races helped with its construction. It was the last great act of cooperation between the realms before peace disappeared for good. Leosa. Your bowstring stopped glowing. Its power is now depleted. Only a few knocks of magic remained in the bowstring, and we used them. Your bow, please. Once you claim the light of all time, infuse the bowstring with its power. Don't forget. Talk like you're not coming with us. I'll try, but measures were taken to keep me trapped in Midgard. Why? The gods don't care for me much. Is this it? It's so dark. This temple has been asleep, underwater for almost 150 winters. It needs only the light of the Bifrost to reawaken. Those roots don't look like your magic. They aren't. These roots are part of the Great World Tree, and make travel between the realms possible. How does it work? You will need this, a Bifrost, to create travel between realms. It can capture, hold, and transfer the Light of Alfheim. Place the Bifrost there. What now? Give it a moment. The temple needs time to wake up from its long slumber. It is from this room, and this room alone, that you will be able to cross between realms. What you see before you represents the temple in which we stand, as well as the realm towers that encircle the Lake of Nine outside. All the realms exist in the same physical space, reflections of each other. These doors, the towers outside, and the Nine Realms are all intertwined and coexisting on the branches of the World Tree, separated only by the Bifrost Light of Alfheim. This place can focus and control that light. And is this the World Tree? Only an artistic representation of it. No, the Yggdrasil is much, much more than this. The Tree of Life is bound to the fate of the world, just as we are bound to it. The tree nourishes our soils. The dew from its leaves feeds our valleys and rivers. The tree's very existence supports all of creation along its boughs. Its life energy interwoven into the tapestry of life. Birth, growth, death, and rebirth. Every strand transcending time, transcending space. Everything comes back to the tree. So, 
That's how it works. But I'm guessing you were looking for a more practical answer. Yes. Very well. The bridge you pushed outside is currently positioned to lead to the realm of Vanaheim. Instead, turn the wheel to our actual destination, Alfheim. Wait, is this moving the big bridge outside? Yes, the wheel turns the bridge, and the bridge aligns to the different realm towers on the lake outside. Wait, there's no tower on this one. And that's why realm travel to Jotunheim is impossible. Without a tower for the bridge to lock into, the sequence can't begin. Every realm has a travel room that unlocks the bridge to that realm. I'm giving you the one for Alfheim. Now you can lock in your destination. We're ready. Remember to take the Bifrost. You don't want to lose that. Now the realm travel bridge will align, and the realm between realms will open. See that giant crystal? Each realm has a corresponding one that focuses and amplifies the power of the Bifrost, opening the bridge to that realm. That's why realm travel is only possible from this room. What about that one realm tower I'm seeing from the lake? The Jotunheim Tower disappeared from all realms over a hundred winters ago, when the giants vanished from Midgard. Where the tower went and how they moved it remain a mystery. Follow me. The Bifrost is dark. This trip was its last use. There's no going back until it's replenished with the light of Alfheim. So we are trapped. Someone of your ability should have little trouble getting back to Midgard. And we'll be able to make that black breath go away? With the captured light of Alfheim, yes. Welcome to Alfheim, gentlemen. Think you can spot... The light. I can barely see it. Something's wrong. See that column of light on the horizon? It's housed in the heart of a ring temple. We'll find what we need there. No. No, no, no. Damn it, not yet. What's happening? <sighs> to restore the Bifrost magic, you must step into the light. But be very careful not to get caught. She's not dead, is she? Not likely. Come. Look at this place. Stay by me. Touch nothing. <laughs> 